Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Down Under Gaming. Um, today I wanted to discuss uh, your Navy heroes, uh, beginner, um, right up until the end, and who to focus on and what to do. All right, so let's start at the beginning. Now, purple hero, free to play, will be Simon. Simon increases your Navy attack. It's only a 32% increase, but it's still something, especially when you're low, um, and it's easy to level him up. Now, another good one is, uh, I will go with Nimitz or Bissell. They're also free to play because they're available from normal summons. You've got Nimitz who increases attack of naval units by 40, uh, by 73%, and Bissell that increases by 84. Straight away you think, oh, Bissell has got a higher increase. I'll choose him, but have a look. You've got his war is 36,000, his defense is 14,000, um, while you've got Nimitz who's War is 41,000 and defense is 11,000. So that's where, in my opinion, they're about the same. Um, Basel has a slightly higher uh, defense, which gives you a couple of extra percentages of uh, HP. Now, another free to play, which is very popular, is Bellevue. Um, she is also very well used, very widely used, sorry. Um, and what she does is trigger three additional shells causing 41% or 83% in uh, at five star, which um, on a single target would be 83% times three. Not uh, three times, sorry, not 83% times three, which is uh, 240, that is incorrect. Um, it would be calculated each time. Now, those are your four free to play. Uh, we are lucky to have received the cell, even though we had Nimitz as free to play, so I'm not really sure why. Um, but they're both quite good. Uh, when I got the cell, he wasn't a free to play, and it was quite frustrating. Anyway, let's move on. Next one is Balos. Balos is a, um, a paid hero. You, you need to uh, use money for it. Um, she is essentially an upgrade from Nimitz and Vassell. She firstly increases attack. She's also got about the same war as Vassell. Um, but slightly lower attack, but she has a active skill as well. Uh, passive skill would be the attack, the attack increase, and the active skill would be the whatever is triggered, and that's with all heroes. Some heroes only have a uh, passive skill, some heroes only have uh, an active skill. Um, and when you choose the formation of your two heroes, have your active skill first and your passive skill second. So it would be Balos first, for example, and then Nimitz second. Um, because you want her active skills to start off. Um, now her uh, active skill is universal. Um, with each attack, there is a chance to fire an extra missile to a random target causing 45% damage. Uh, if the unit is hit by a missile affected by attack decrease debuff, uh, the damage dealt will be 137. Now this is good for eternal lands, especially when you've got world boss or something like that, where you, uh, your legendary craftsman can put a weakening facility down. Um, she's got extra attributes uh, like all new heroes, 20% um, HP, universal, it, while using in battle, and then a 120 war, not required in battle, which means it's all around. Akatora, probably one of my 
favorite heroes in the game. He is uh, defense oriented and good on actual defense of the base and also as an attack hero in your march. My main march is Akatora and Balos. Um, my second march is uh, 914 and the South. Anyway, coming back to Akatora, he, he does, he's a semi universal as well, which means that one, uh, some of most of his skill can be used with others, but his, but he does have some specific aspect, excuse me, some specific aspects which are navy. Um, so there's a few heroes that have this rage, um, I guess function. I don't know what's called. Um, at the beginning of the battle, so at seven, at five star, he gains seven rage, which is full. So he means that he can trigger his um, skill straight away uh, on the first round. But if he's not, each time your unit launches a regular attack your hero gains one rage, which means that every time one stack fires a regular attack, um, the hero gets one rage. So he can, in one round, he can potentially do two, two attacks. Um, so once you get to seven rage, he will summon a mecha, uh, which randomly throws four to ten missiles at random targets, causing 40% damage. Um, if you're lucky to get all ten, that's 10 across 40, uh, 40% across 10 um, stacks. Um, if he gets the same stack, he could potentially kill the, the same one. Uh, zero it. Um, and then when you're, so this is the Navy aspect. When your Navy unit releases skill, decreases the damage of the targets, hit by the skill by 50% or 55% almost, um, and last one round. So hopefully if you hit first um, and it does a couple of times and your navy heroes scatter 10 of them across all the, uh, the, the, the stacks, you could decrease all the damage that your opponent is hitting at you by half. Um, you've got 914, 914, uh, he's also a he, she. Robot is a paid um, hero. Uh, at the beginning of the battle, your naval units gain a shield equal to 35 almost percent of the HP and inflicts vulnerability uh, to all army targets in this round, increases the first damage they receive by 45 percent. Uh, that's the vulnerability, so the vulnerability means that damage is increased the damage taken is increased. Um, if the hero is on the offensive, there is a 50% chance to ignite all targets, which deals 120% damage um, before their turn. Um, so he's really, really, really powerful offense, not so powerful defense. Now they have recently or a while ago re released a decoration which counters him so when your combat power is higher than your opponent by 40 percent or if your opponent is lower than yours by 40 percent if you're being hit um then uh, in the battle when so Regardless, if you're hitting someone who is a lower CP than you, uh, at least by 40%, he's brilliant because he's going to attack there, he's going to demolish them, which makes this redundant. Uh, it's all very confusing. Anyway, let's go back to um, just the skills quickly. Uh, I use one damage decrease, one damage increase. Once I get the six um, slot, then I will add one of each to each again. Four HP and attack, depending which one's higher. 
anyway that's about it from um uh, from navy those are your main focus uh marida i tried to level up to see how she would go against world boss um she did not do so well not worth the trouble um and gunzo is a decent defense ish and free to play and he's also a farmer with an increased gathering speed at 15 percent and that's your navy heroes um like and subscribe and uh any any questions chuck them in the comments thanks guys